We often hear the expression forgive and forget. Who here has heard that, said it? I prefer a different expression. I prefer remember and forgive. And it's not just because I'm the kind of person that likes to hold a grudge. <laughs> Honestly, I think forgetting, it's not actually possible. Or not even better than remembering. I think we need to remember in order for us to forgive. Without remembering, it's impossible for us to really fully heal from all that we experience. <coughs> Let me try to explain that a little bit more with a story. Um, as some of you know, I'm a cat lady, and I have one of my favorite teachers, my new cat, Minerva. Well, one day I was moving her from our old apartment to our new one, and I forgot something about her. She is uh, the definition of a scaredy cat. So I went to pick her up and put her in her carrier, and before I knew it, I had cuts all up my arm because Minerva was terrified for her life the second I went to reach for her. I had forgotten that she was a very scared cat. And I admit that my uh, first in instinct was not to forgive her. Uh, it was to say a few swear words that will not happen from this pulpit. <laughs> Well, I still have those scars from when I first picked up Minerva. And they remind me, they help me to remember that she is a very sweet cat and also a cat that is easily scared. Those scars are a reminder to remember her personality, all aspects of it. And they are also a reminder to wrap her in a towel the next time I try to pick her up. Now remembering and forgiving, it's easy enough when it's a beloved pet, but when we're talking about people, people in our lives who we think should know better, people who we think have betrayed our trust, people in the public sphere who are using their positions and their power to spread hate and division, to incite fear and violence, those make deeper wounds than a cat scratch they leave bigger scars. And when we choose to actually remember in those moments, we realize that the forgiveness, it's not as easy as forgetting. It takes time. That healing takes longer to happen because we engage every part of what has happened to us and what is hurting us. It's a more intentional process, and frankly, it's an ongoing one because we know that once we have been hurt once, it's possible for us to be hurt again. And that difficulty of forgetting or forgiving and of remembering, it's even bigger sometimes when it's our own self that we need to forgive. But with that intention of remembering, we actually come to gain a fuller sense of what is happening. We can take that time to get to the core of what has hurt us and every aspect of what it means to be human. We can make mistakes, we can be harmed, we can cause harm, and we can still be worthy. We can know that we have the power to change things. Slowly, bit by bit, we turn that wound into a scar, and we can find ourselves remembering ourselves more fully forgiving, more f moving forward more fully with that knowledge of all that has happened and all that we hope can happen. It's not as easy as wrapping a cat in a blanket and showing her you love her as you take her to a new home, but it is possible. And that forgiveness, it's not just a one-to-one -one thing. It also happens at a social level. It's something that our society today is working on, remembering and forgiving. And in today's political climate, it is vitally important. And so today at 1.30 p.m., I am inviting you to remember and to start or continue helping us to forgive. Today at 1.30, you are invited to remember 
all that our society has done and all that it can do. As, Leslie, as Reverend Leslie mentioned earlier, Pika will be here at 1.30 offering a teach-in about a variety of initiatives that are happening on the ballot this year. Things that we can do to remember the changes that need to happen and that can happen. Changes in healthcare reform, in criminal justice reform, in educational reform. Together, we can remember that yes, we have hurt. Yes, we are hurting. And yes, we can heal. We can help one another and ourselves forgive. I hope you can join me.